The death toll in Haiti continues to climb tonight, now reaching close to 1,500 with nearly 7,000 injured as heavy rains threaten to complicate rescue and aid efforts. The country was devastated by a 7.2 magnitude earthquake and local members of the Haitian community in the Fargo-Moorhead area are reacting to the destruction and loss of life. Valley News Team's Nishé Taylor has this story. It was a devastating weekend for Haiti as a strong earthquake rumbled through the country. When I'm looking my country, so it's a, it's a big problem. Other people you know, feel very bad, we cry. And Local members of the Haitian community are filled with grief as they watched loved ones deal with the catastrophe. Every house is over there, broke down, and everyone in the street they still to call me, call me every day, but I try to call them, but it's terrible right now. This isn't the first time Haitians have been in such difficult circumstances. More than a decade ago, another earthquake caused a widespread destruction in the country, killing roughly 300,000 people. But the news of this weekend's tragedy is heartbreaking for some living here in the Fargo-Moorhead area. It's like uh, heartbreaking to see, to hear the testimonies and what people been saying and how people sleep, how they eat. There's no food, there's no water, there's no tent for them. It's a very sad situation. The pastors tell us they've been working to help provide better opportunities for the citizens of Haiti. We are building a school that will provide a technical skill for young men and women. People walk in, we make money together and build a church, build school and try to help everyone over there. And we have a project over there, but now everything destroyed. Fortunately, Pastor Paul Aladen says their school in Haiti is still standing, but Pastor Xavier says the destruction has delayed their plans to open next month. But both believe in this time of crisis, the country is going to need a lot of help. I just want the community to know that uh, uh, we need their support and their prayer. Nishay Taylor, Valley News Live. A tropical depression is also expected to hit Haiti, threatening more destruction for the country.